Josh here. Today, we're going to try to catch some uh, lobsters out there. Nice and rainy out here. Maybe even get some lionfish today. Got my new jig out here. Say hey, Josh, it's his birthday today. Hey! So, happy birthday, Josh. Hopefully, you got some more stuff than me. But I'm not, I'm not wishing that either. <laughs> yeah, I think he's going to get everything. But anyways, let's get down there and start talking about it. Looking under the rocks and crevices in the rocks and little caves is often where you'll find lionfish, lobsters, and all types of cool critters hiding out in the reef. This rock, we actually find a little sleeping grouper. Doesn't even notice I'm here. Oh, now he does. Sitting on top of the reef, we come across the conch. But upon further inspection, we actually see that it's a gigantic comic rock. Looking under the nearby ledge, we come across the sleeping Goliath Griffin. Our first lobster. Let's get out the old tickle stick. Let's get let's see if we can get him. Oh, there he is. He's a little small. Let's let him go back to the roof and get bigger. Here chilling out under this ledge is a big rock crab. These guys you can harvest for claws, but I, I just don't know the laws on them quite yet or what to do with them. So I'll leave him kind of be for today. Another lobster in a small hole. Let's get out the tickle stick again. Now, now what I'm doing with this tickle stick is trying to get it just around the back side of him so he feels something in there. That way he doesn't go far back in the hole. But as you can see, I didn't exactly do this one too, right? But you can always chase him out a little bit by getting the stick back in behind him again. Snails already, so one of my favorite fish to come across. 
cost on every bird fish here is right here. This is a small porcupine puffer fish. They're so cute. Yeah. 
One of the divers coming out of the tunnel. And the big Goliath grouper parks right in front of him. Anyways, like, subscribe, get out of the house and go find something.